everyone, this is Rob from SportRx. My name is Stephen Emil, the Oakley Field Marketing Rep. We're here at One Icon today to talk about some of our Oakley technology with impact safety and optics. We're in the O lab, baby. So guys, over here we have two of our optical tests that we run at Oakley. Now these are not an Oakley specific test, these are actually done by ANSI. ANSI is the American National Standards Institute. Now these tests that we're showing you today are actually used for safety eyewear, and us being a sports performance eyewear brand, we're actually not required to do these tests. But we do know it's beneficial for our athletes, our customers, as well as the military to have this technology in the eyewear. So over here, we have our lasers. Our lasers are gonna be showing you how the curvature and the shape of your eyewear actually affects the way that light travels through it. And over here, we have a scope. Scope's testing the purity of the lens material and how that's going to affect the clarity and accuracy of it. So the first test we're gonna be showing you guys today is gonna to be our laser test. The laser's gonna be testing for the curvature and the shape of your eyewear and show you how it affects light as it passes through that curved surface. So what this test is actually doing is it's replicating your left and your right eye, focusing on a point about 15 feet away. Although it does look like it's one laser, it's actually two meeting up at this point. Now ideally, when we take a set of eyewear and we put it on that head form, we wanna see those two lasers stay right there at that one point. Now we're gonna start with competitor eyewear today. We're gonna to talk about a couple different design aspects of them and how they could possibly cause issues for your eyes. First issue we find is curvature. It's the outside bending part of the frame. It's used for two reasons, mainly protection from dirt, dust, wind, sun, anything you guys may encounter when you're outside, but also aesthetically it looks nice, so companies choose to use it. Creates an issue for us though. This is known as prism or the bending of light. So as light travels through this eyewear, it wants to follow this curvature. Now curvature creates distortion. It's a type of horizontal distortion. Your brain, your eyes are an amazing system. They're able to fix that distortion. But encountering that issue day in, day out actually causes damage to your eyes. Short term, probably gonna have some issues with some headaches, lack of focus, but in the long term, we could see some eye damage from it. Now, another issue we do find in the design of competitor sunglasses comes from the rake. The rake's the downward tilt of the lens. That's used for two main reasons, mainly impact protection. It goes ahead and deflects objects down away from the eyes, so it doesn't make a flat contact. But again, it looks cool, so companies use it. This creates another issue for us. This is known as prismatic imbalance or vertical distortion. It's much more difficult for your eyes to correct. Your eyes actually flex upwards of 100 times a second, trying to rebend that light directly onto your back. Now the eye muscle is the only muscle in your body that you guys use every single day, but it's never gonna get stronger. It's actually constantly deteriorating, and that's just rapidly speeding up that deterioration. Now we do have one more issue that we do find in the design of competitor sunglasses. So as you can see, it doesn't look that bad down there. We do have a little bit of prism, a little bit of imbalance, but we have a bigger issue that's going on here. As you can see, the left and right lens, they meet up about two feet before they're supposed to. Slightly thereafter, they cross over. It's an issue of depth perception. You could relate that to the game of golf and that flag that you thought was 150 yards away, it's 140 yards away now. But it's not just an issue of messing with your golf game, damaging your eyes. You could also relate it to road cycle. If you're riding a bike at 30 miles an hour and you've slightly misjudged a turn, you could cause some severe bodily harm. So just some issues we do find in the design of competitor sunglasses. We'll go ahead and show you the Oakley side of things. I have an Oakley fuel cell. Very precise optics. No issues with distortion, imbalance, prism. Now my purpose here today, guys, is not to bash on those other companies. They are trying to give people good products, but they do have a major issue. These companies are only allowed to make a lens taper correction, either horizontally or vertically. You can't do both at the same time. Why? Because we're the ones that actually discovered that technology back in 1989, and it's the basis for our XYZ lens geometry pattern. Now what XYZ stands for is making a lens taper correction across the X axis horizontally, the Y axis vertically, and Z, your thickness. So XYZ is an optical center. That just means it's the thickest part of the lens, therefore it attracts the most amount of light. But as we travel away from this optical center, both horizontally and vertically, we make a taper correction. It gets thinner. And that just allows light to come through to a true angle. So it doesn't matter where I look through this lens, we're still getting correct optics. I could be looking out of the very top of it, the very bottom, all the way to the left, all the way to the right, no issues with distortion. Always brings that light right back to center, not causing stress on your eyes. 